the cutting edge of medical science today is changed from what they've been doing for the last 50 years. For the last 50 years, what they've been doing is saying, okay, here's a disease, let's kill it. You know, let's kill something. And now what they're looking at is, well, no, 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 that's really not the answer. The answer is what is known as immunotherapy. In other words, the, in cancer right now, the biggest thing that everybody's working on is immunotherapy. What the ultimate goal is, is to make somebody stronger internally and so that disease doesn't happen or that the disease becomes so small because it's getting attacked by the immune system. What we found for that is one of the great products that have been in, that's been invented, you know, decades ago. So when it was invented, it wasn't the right time for it. Now, when people are looking at immunotherapy as the big thing, this is probably the biggest weapon in its arsenal. Uh, does yeah, it is. Foam? Same memory foam. Yeah. yeah. Only the color is uh, different. It's, uh, Slightly, like, yeah. yeah. And everything else is the same. Right here, we're working on the ECP project called RENEW. And the ECP project stands for External Counter Pulsation. The idea is the ECP squeezes blood from the legs back into the core body and assists the heart when the heart's resting. While the heart is resting, this is pumping. While the heart is pumping, this is resting. They go back and forth, so it acts almost like an auxiliary heart. The arteries become wider, which lets blood pass more easily. The effects happen through the entire body. The evidence is overwhelming that it makes people healthier. Right, tighten that, then tighten it. Right, there you go. Was that easier? Yes. When I first looked at it, I said, are you guys kidding? I mean, is this Monty Python? Yeah, this one and this one. There's an old movie called uh, Life of Brian, uh, people are volunteering for crucifixion. If somebody asked me, okay, you've got heart problems, which would you like, surgery or not surgery? Well, first I'd like to try the non-surgery guys. I mean, I don't have to be a genius to figure that part out. Even if it doesn't work as well, you know, you would still want to say, I want to go with the non-surgical approach. We looked at that and we thought, okay, this is pretty obvious. And then we realized that there were so many things it was doing. And amazingly, the science guys, over the years, there were 300 published peer-reviewed studies on the benefits of this. And yet, it never made it into the mainstream. Well, when first somebody came to me with it, I said, look, I, you know, there's so much logic here. I'm just going to buy one. So there were couple of guys that were making it. Uh, now, because nobody really bought many of these, it was a big clunker. It took up half the room, and it was 220, created heat. It was terrible, right? I said, oh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to buy it. So we have one here all folded up. Can you put it together? So we will go and, and pop That's it That's a good idea. Right just... OK. I should time this. <laughs> Now, we changed the whole thing, so made it really simple, small, made a bunch of modifications to it. We've talked to some of the top guys in the world in terms of both cardiologists as well as medical research guys, and they're all, of course, this is great. However, we asked some people that are not at the top of the field, and they said, no, 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 this is for old people that can't have surgery. Surgery is way better. And it's not because they're being dishonest. It's because how everybody's been trained. It's legacy. It's how I was taught. Put the hoses on and it's ready to run. OK. Well, that was about a, <laughs> less than a minute. OK. So actually, this can be now put in a corner somewhere or taken in a truck or Put it in a closet, put it in a corner. You can store it away okay. or. Very cool. You know, it can go room to room for people. You right. know, it, right. You in know, a doctor's it, office or something. And it plugs into a normal 110 volt plug. What it does is it enhances circulation. Nature has already made this pump called the heart, and it's pumping to keep everything going, you know, getting oxygen and nutrients, hauling in the waste. Then what happens over time is the pump gets old. The pump gets old, doesn't quite do the job. All of a sudden, you've got all kinds of things happening from, 
you know, from your toes to your hair, you know, skin's wrinkling, arthritis, all of these things happen. Where they come from? Really, where they came from is that you got weaker. Your system got weaker. That's when you let all of this junk in. Think about it. If you leave waste, if you leave trash all over the body, if you leave trash in your head, and then you get a disease in your head, and you're thinking, well, how, how did I get disease? Well, you left trash in your head, right? It's what trash happens, it rots, turns to poison, and all of a sudden you have diseases. If you haul away the trash, the chances are being better, being healthier, and not having those diseases come in are much higher. So what this does is enhances circulation. And again, back to what we do here at stage two, it's just nature with a twist. We go for simple, which is, if you're healthier, if you're better, if you're stronger, then there's less disease. I got this from Sir David Lane, and I was thinking all about nutrients and oxygen. And he pointed out, no, 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 it hauls away the waste. And he put it so well, which was, the idea is not to treat illness, it's to treat wellness. It's to make wellness better. That's how you treat illness. Right? That, was, that was so smart. David Lane is uh, regarded as one of the foremost scientists and experts in the area of cancer and oncology. He's actually been knighted by the queen. He's a brilliant person. Uh, when you get to talk to him, you'll realize how fast he can understand the things we are doing and he sees tremendous benefits for ECP in healthcare. So his point is, if you can delay ailments, that's healthcare. We tend to think of ourselves as being well or being ill, but the reality is it's a continuum. And what we should be aiming for is great wellness and no illness. I think what we tend to do is think we're well until we're ill, and, and that's the wrong way around. We need to be thinking about maintaining health as a much more proactive process. Everybody wants a shortcut, so maybe I take this vitamin and I'll be better, or maybe I'll do this, I'll be better. But what we need to do is think about fundamentals. So what is the fundamental? The fundamental is the blood, the circulation. That's what your heart's doing, that's what's taking nutrients around your body, that's what's critical for eliminating waste products. So clearly, poor circulation is the basis of a, of a lot of illness. So it's clear to me, you know, that anything that can help people to, uh, to improve their health is very, very important. So ECP is an example of that. Everybody says, well, you know, how can something so simple work? How can just pumping your circulation a bit help? But the question is, ask the question, does it work? If it does work, then it's very valuable. And I think this is where, you know, you have to go outside the system. I mean, the current system educates people to behave in a certain way. You know, you, you, you get ill, you go to the doctor, the doctor's a godlike figure, the doctor's going to save you, you know, that's how it works. And, and instead of thinking, oh, I'm part of this process, you know, I can't be passive, I should be active. And I think it's that shift in thinking to think about new ways of doing things. Of course, it doesn't solve every disease there is, but it is one of the greatest things that we found. This is the answer for the poor. Of course, you know, whether you're poor or rich, you're still only a human being. Health is something that's across the board, whether you're rich or poor. When we looked at that for, for, for the poor, we said, okay, well, this, this is across all human uh, needs. And if you can do this, how many things does it affect? Is it wide enough? Oh, yeah. Because now you made it for whatever. So, yeah, we still did it for yeah, 95th it's, it's, percentile. Yeah, it's so. still... So if I gain another 20 pounds, <laughs> I'm still okay. The interesting part is that once you try it a couple of times, you're like, okay, okay, I need that. You just feel better. You are better and you feel better. Uh, I mean, I've been on it for a couple of three years now. And my son says, you know, in 30 years, I'll be 50 and you'll be 40. <laughs> so so the, the effects have been remarkable. And so I said, okay, if I'm gonna use it, then I need to get that benefit out to everyone. And uh, we're gonna impact health in a way that no medicine can do it. 